Hi guys, this is Crystal with Coffin Up Stitches. Today we're gonna to be learning the half double crochet. It's a very simple stitch. We've done the single crochet and the double crochet so far with our dished cloths. But today we'll be doing the half double crochet. And after that, that's pretty much the basics and you'll be able to do any stitch or create anything that you want or anything that I create on this channel. Um, we will be using the Crafters Secret Cotton today in just red uh it's a really actually it's a really pretty like deepish red i really like it so you will need some cotton yarn today i am using a j10 hook 5.75 millimeters and then also you might want to go ahead and grab you some scissors as well so let's go ahead and get started on this half double crochet here I pull mine from the middle some people pull theirs from the outside I just feel like it flows better from the middle sometimes I can't get it from the middle so I do do the outside it really just depends on like what yarn you use but this one does not seem to have a center that wants to come out easy enough it's wanting to like bring the whole the whole center out see that like it's not wanting to come out i hate that so when that happens i do pull from the outside just go ahead and wind some of that yarn off there i'm gonna throw my yarn ball up there i'm gonna go ahead and do a slip knot on camera here again this is how i do mine some people do theirs different but i just wrap it around and then when i wrap it to this side I cross it. This is the, the wrapping yarn. You can do it like that. Grab those two pieces right there and tighten it up on to your hook. I don't tighten it all the way down because I want to be able to move freely. So that's about as tight as I'll make it. So for this one, we're only going to do 20, 20 stitches plus two, okay? Or one, I'm sorry, one. So there's one chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then add one. So I put my thumb right here. Like if I know I'm gonna be on into that stitch, the last stitch I made, then I put my thumb there or a stitch marker. If you don't wanna use your thumb, you can use a stitch marker. I use stitch markers normally when I'm counting 10 at a time. So there's my one and then you're gonna wrap around like you normally do for a double crochet and you're gonna go into this stitch right here and you're gonna pull up and normally with a double crochet you would round o uh, yarn over and then pull through two and then yarn over and then pull through two again but since this is a half double we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three okay so let me show you the difference okay so if it's a regular double crochet we would yarn over and we'd pull through two I can get this to pull through two there we go and then we would pull through two again and that's a double crochet so since we're doing a half double we go in we were yarn over we go in pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three and that's a half double 
So let's work that whole row down here again. Yarn over. You have three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over again and pull through all three for a half double crochet. And we're gonna do this all the way down this row until we have the row completed. It's pretty easy once you get used to it. It's, I like doing it on blankets that I don't want any holes in that I want to be able to keep me or whoever I'm making it for pretty warm. Um, just because like single crochet, it takes forever. A double crochet, depending on what yarn you use, can leave pretty big holes maybe, or maybe you feel like it's too airy. Also depends on the yarn you use, how it's made, and who, also who it's by. You know, I talked a little bit about that in my last video about, you know, some of the Red Heart yarn. Um, also, if it has any special stuff on it, like the Fun Fur yarn that I, that, um, I was gifted, a lot of that. I mean, you wouldn't be wanting to try and go and make a blanket with that, with that, um, yarn that is actually connected to being so thin so this is like my happy medium between a single and a double you still get that closeness in that stitch but it still gives you a little bit of a design pattern that i just absolutely love almost here to the end Okay, so there is what your half double should be looking like right now. And that is 20 stitches across. So if you want to double check and count to make sure you have 20, you can turn it up on its end right here. Sorry if you can't see that too well. Let me, there we go. Got it a little bit closer. There we go. You can turn it up on its end and you can count, you know, by the V's. Or what I like to do when I'm doing the first row, I can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then twenty. So when I get to the end here, I'm gonna chain one, turn your work. And you see where you're coming out of this stitch. So we don't use this one, okay? That, that was your chain one right here, okay? And since we're doing a half double, we're gonna go in to this right here, okay? So you yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through a stitch, pull up a loop, Go through all three. Yarn over, pull up a stitch. Yarn over, go through all three. And we just do that all the way across. So nothing fancy yet. We're just kind of getting the basics down. This is something you can sit and watch TV, you know, and do. Nothing you really have to think about, you know. And you don't have to do it real tight. I mean, as you can see, I'm not doing mine real tight. I'm not a tight crocheter. I never have been. Sometimes I have to stop on my dishcloths and be like, man, I need to do that a little bit tighter, you know? But a lot of times, too, with this, as it gets wet and you dry it, cotton's known to shrink. So sometimes it does shrink. So it really don't make a difference to me that I'm a loose crocheter because it does shrink sometimes. Not a whole lot, but it does. We're just going to yarn over and pull through three, yarn over, pull through three, 
Oh, that one's really low. See, that one's really low. So this is what I do. I just pull it down and I kind of batten the hatches down, make it just a little bit tighter when that happens. This is just something real easy and real simple. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and let you guys go. This is the half double crochet. Just pause it, stop it, watch it as many times as you need to. Don't fasten off if you wanna do that border with me because my next video is going to be about the borders on these three dishcloths we have made. We've got this beautiful red one that we're making now. Go ahead and get these last couple of stitches in and then I'll bring the other ones into the frame just to refresh the memory. And then we have this gorgeous purple with the um, little silver scrubby parts in it. And they do have more colors than this purple. I've seen them today. I just really love this witchy purple. It was bright. It was stunning. It was sometimes going to grab your attention. And this was our single crochet tutorial. So if you're looking for that one, the purple one is the single crochet tutorial. And then we have this bright yellow. It looks so neon yellow underneath that light. Like it's it's crazy the difference that these yarns look in in person. This one is the Crafter Secret like we're using today in the color just plain yellow. Um, this was the double crochet tutorial. And as you can see, I still have my yarn connected because I will be doing um, border tutorials on those. Hopefully get those through tonight and then upload it tomorrow. But this one and my other one's uploaded tonight. So I'm gonna start trying to pay a little bit more attention. I hadn't realized it'd been that long. I've been MIA, but as I said earlier, we had to put a pet of ours down. She was 16 years old and a Yorkie. So she lived a long, healthy life and then um, also family um, issues too as well. So um, I don't know if you guys like to read or listen to books or anything like that, but if you do, I have been listening to this book series called The Knitting Vampires. I've listened to book one, two, and three, and they're like supposed to be like cozy mystery books. It, so if you like um, mystery books and maybe like vampires and want something about knitting and crochet and things, um, I think that you would enjoy that. I did not know that it had my favorite things in a crochet knitting book, uh, book to be listened to, but I really enjoy listening to it. Um, the lady who reads them has a very soothing voice, and she's she does great. Um, another book series that I listen to is the Black Dagger Brotherhood books. So if any of you guys listen to those or read those books and would like to discuss those um, when I start doing lives here, then I would love to discuss those. If you're hearing some um, vicious dogs out there, that is my other two. I have a Chinese crested. She's white um, with black dots on her. She is precious. She is the hairy hairless kind. She is five fixing to be six in january and then i have a men pin chihuahua that is about the same age i inherited her from my mom my mom passed away in 2020 on october 7th i think i may have done um, discussed that in a previous video so i also have her dog but then we had to put our 16 year old yorkie down today she um was just old she had been blind and deaf for the past couple of years so we and i mean she was just running into things she had become to where she couldn't control her bladder having seizures so we felt like you know that we was doing the right thing she wasn't eating and when she did eat she didn't put on any weight um i'm wondering if maybe she might have possibly had cancer but it would have costed a lot of money to figure that out and i just felt like i was we was doing her um, the best we could by going ahead and letting her her pass um, peacefully. So my aunt took her for us today. 
and done that for us. But um, that's kind of like what I've been dealing with. And we are also um, selling the house that I am in currently. And I will be, my grandmother is going to move to North Carolina. And I will hopefully be staying here in Alabama. But even if I don't, I still get to talk to you guys and I still get to do this. But I will be keeping you guys updated because unfortunately when I do move, I will have to not do my YouTube probably for a couple weeks. But I will give you guys a heads up before that happens. So you guys will know not to be looking for me or hey, she's going to be back in a couple weeks. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go with this. Like I said, don't fasten off. I will be doing a tutorial on borders, and then I will show you then how to fasten off with these, okay? So stay tuned, and until I see you again, it is never too late to create. And you have a good rest of the night or rest of today. And like I said, if you'd like, we can do some lives and discuss books while we crochet. I would not enjoy anything more. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening.